Hey senior photographer, if you really struggle with posing your clients in their cap and gown because they kind of look like a trash bag and can be wildly unflattering, I think this video is going to be super helpful to you. So if you think it'll be interesting, keep watching. and this YouTube channel is where I share education for photographers as well as a little bit of a peek into my life living in the low country. I have been a senior photographer for over a decade now, which is bananas. And today I'm talking about one of the pain points that a lot of senior photographers experience with their clients. And that is the dreaded cap and gown. Just kidding, they're necessary, they're adorable photos. I love getting them at all of my senior sessions, but it is very, very easy to take a bad cap and gown photo because let's be honest, cap and gowns can kind of look like trash bags and very quickly become an unflattering section of your senior's gallery. And I wanna show you how I photograph my clients in their cap and gown to do it quickly, to get a ton of variety and to pose them in a way that is super, super flattering. But before we jump into that, I have a free gift for you at the link down in the description description just to say thanks for tuning in. You can watch me photograph an entire senior session, one of my favorites of all time actually in downtown Charleston, from start to finish to see every single decision that I make in real time at a shoot. So you're going to see me make decisions about posing, about lighting, about locations, composition, camera settings, outfits, wardrobe. You get to see it all in real time from the moment I meet up with my client all the way until the end of the session. And you'll also get to see all of my straight out of camera images with the edits. You'll get to see my camera settings and you'll get to see a mini editing tutorial of me going through the process of editing some of my favorite images from the entire shoot. And yes, all of that is literally 100% free with no catch. I just really appreciate you tuning in and being here on the channel. So if you're a visual learner, if you liked this video and clicked on this video because you wanted to see me photograph at a real shoot because you learn really well from behind the scenes and real footage, then you're going to love that free gift. So snag that at the link in the description. Thousands of photographers have already tuned in and found it super helpful. And I think you will too. But without further ado, we are going to cut to a real senior session with one of my clients named Mary. She brought her cap and gown to her senior session and wanted to snag a couple of photos with it. And if you are a senior photographer, then you probably know that it can be really, really easy for these images to feel really unflattering and just feel like they're wearing a garbage bag. So there are a couple of things you're going to see me do at the shoot that will hopefully help you with navigating this and posing it in a little bit more of a flattering way at your next session. Couple little tidbits. Um, I do not do traditional drape photos or yearbook photos for my senior clients. Typically those are done separately at the school with a photographer that the school hires and uses year after year for those true drape photos. I don't have a studio. I only shoot natural light. So when my seniors bring their cap and gown to their session, they're bringing it along with them just to get a couple of casuals um, or more laid back images to have in their cap and gown to post on Instagram when they graduate. I also don't count this as one of my clients outfits. They are allowed up to five to six outfits at their senior sessions, but if they want to bring their cap and gown, I don't count that as one of the five or six outfits. And the reason for that is because we're typically throwing it on over top of one of the other outfits that they bring with them. And I only photograph the cap and gown for like five to 10 minutes at the session. I don't spend a full 20 or 30 30 minutes photographing cap and gown images because typically nobody wants that many photos of them in a cap and gown. They really are just looking for one to two quick, cute photos that they can share on social media when they graduate. So just a couple of tidbits to kind of preface this clip, but now we're going to go ahead and cut to Mary's shoot so you can watch me do this in real time. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. Let's do like right in the middle right here, girlfriend. So like two steps up. Perfect. I'm just going to adjust this. Be sure it's good to go. Oh, it's actually perfect. So let's do one more thing. Beautiful. Okay, girlfriend. And let's do one kind of the, yeah, hip width apart. I couldn't talk just then. And let's do hand on hip, like under the gown. So you're actually going to go kind of under. Yes, yeah, so I can see your cute waist. Perfect. And then we're going to laugh out towards the water over there for me. Perfect. Oh, this is so cute already. And then smiling right here towards me too. Perfect. Love it. And then let's get the cap in there. I'm going to have her just hold it for the first few. Yeah, we don't even have to put it on at all if you don't want to. <laughs> She's like, thank goodness. Perfect. 
Perfect. Yeah. So let's do that one hand on that hip one more time. And then we're going to hold the calf like right there at your belly button, almost like a bouquet. <laughs> and they're going to laugh over that shoulder for me. Perfect. Beautiful. Oh, I love that. Hold it right there. I'm going to get these beautiful trees in here. Perfect. And then laughing right here towards me too. Cute. And then let's throw that hand up. Like we're so excited. Like woohoo. Cute. And then let's do that again, but with a little foot kick moment. Yeah. Perfect. Ready? Yes. Cute. I love that. That was so cute. And then let's do, does your little tassel, oh, it does say your class. So I'm gonna have you just hold it right at your belly button one more time, okay. and I'm gonna get kind of a little detail shot of that. If it wants to cooperate. There we go. Okay, perfect. Beautiful. Let me just grab one more time. And then I'm gonna have you smile right here towards me. I'm gonna try to get that in there again. Perfect. Love it, girlfriend. This is so cute. Beautiful. And then do you wanna get one with it on, or you don't want any with it on? <laughs> She's like, absolutely not. I will get it from like over your shoulder if your forehead is what you're worried about and that way you won't even be able to tell. You really won't. You'll be glad you have it someday. Ten years from now you're going to look back and be like, oh, that was a cute day. <laughs> well, it's just on the day of your graduation, I don't have any pictures from mine. Like because you're running around and doing other stuff and you're just so excited that you forget to get cute photos. <laughs> we don't put Sarah. It on. <laughs> oh my gosh. It's the worst thing ever. You can also... Okay, wait, pause before we put it on, just in case you mess up your makeup. Do you want to just hold it there? Like, you can just hold it like it looks like it's on, but without yeah, you can do that. messing up your forehead. Yep. You know what I mean? Like, you can almost actually tuck this under, okay. like, so that it, their point isn't even there, because that's what a lot of people don't like about it. And then you can, like, sit it like that, and then hold it, and you won't even know that, like, it's supposed to have okay. a little point. Yeah, I think like that's that? cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then... You already yeah. saw it. Wait, what were we gonna do? Um, this hair? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Perfect. And then I'm gonna hold it, move your hand back past the tassel, right there. Okay. Yep, so I can see the cute tassel, right there. And let's do that back hand on your hip for me. Perfect, and just smiling right here towards me, cute. And try to open that elbow up just a little so I can see your cute face. Yep, perfect. Hold it right there. And then just kind of lean in towards me, like, ha, 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 laughing this way, cute. And then I'm gonna have you walk, like turn almost as if you're gonna walk away from me, but you're gonna look over that shoulder, so like this. Yeah, so turn over that other shoulder, over your left shoulder. Yep, just like that, perfect. And just smiling here towards me, perfect. And then one more, kick that foot up like you're so excited, perfect. Got it, perfect, y'all. That was so cute. Okay, anything else cap and gown wise that we wanted, or you feel like that's enough? <laughs> she didn't want it in the first place. Okay, perfect. I hope you found this video helpful and enjoyed following along for a little piece of very shoot. If you enjoyed the format of that and getting to actually see me shoot, see my images every time I hit the shutter, see my camera settings, hear my real time thoughts, there is a longer version, like two and a half hours long version of that at the link in the description as a free gift to you. You get to watch an entire senior session like that from start to finish from my senior scoop membership as well as an editing tutorial. So if you want to snag that, it's an amazing opportunity for free content just to say thanks so much for being here. But I'd also be so grateful to have you subscribe to this channel. I share new education every other week for photographers, and I'm so grateful that you were here. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Bye.